hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video we will see one more topic in selenium automation that is nothing but uh, auto complete list so in this video we will see how to handle auto complete list on google website so here i opened my chrome browser with a google website suppose if i enter something in this text field so like a selenium so you can see the options or the suggestions so these suggestions are changing whenever i am trying to type something on the text field okay suppose if i am typing a selenium interview so i am getting the suggestions like selenium intro questions interview questions for experience interview questions for three years experience so like this we are getting the different type of auto suggestions these are nothing but the list of items which we called as autocomplete list so these values will be directly updated based on the inputs which we are giving in this text field so whereas if you notice the drop down so suppose i take a sample one so here it is the gender drop down so it contains the two fields or two options which is not which are nothing but the male and female so these drop downs are always static suppose if you notice so whenever we are uh, uh, updating the form uh, like while filling the form of a college or uh, the employee form so we'll see uh, some of the static web uh, static drop downs like gender or designations like uh, mr mrs uh, like that it automatically shows some static drop down and if you notice the DOM of the static drop downs for example uh, let's try for this uh, gender so this gender is resided inside the select class so you can see the options as gender male and female this is nothing but the static so these values will be changed when the dev team has asked to update the values suppose if they want to add one more option in the gender field so dev team will make the changes in their back end then only this front end will get updated whereas if you notice the dom of the google website so let me inspect this suppose here let me hover over this uh, selenium interview questions so here you won't find any element with the name as select tag so all you here you can see are the div and the span elements okay so the text which is selenium interview questions it is appearing inside the span tag okay so in this video we'll see how to automate the process to identify the suggestions list and how to select a particular item from this list suppose if i want to get the interview questions from tools qa website so this is the option i need to click so manually what i will do is so i will just enter uh, the topic like so selenium interview so here i have noticed this selenium questions interview so i just need to move my cursor to this position and i just need to click on this tools qa okay so this is the manual process which we are doing currently while opening this tools qa website suppose if i want to automate this process how i can do is so we'll find out in this uh, in this video so here i have written my code till launching the page and entering the keyword as selenium so this is the xpath for the text field so i'll just just inspect this and here So first find out the xpath okay so i found the xpath for this so i have written a title equals to search so this will identify the xpath for this text field and it will send the keys as selenium for suppose here i have selenium so i entered the selenium like this so now what i will do is i will try to click on this selenium testing okay so with the help of uh, the selenium code okay before that i'll just run this and i'll check whether this code is launching the browser with uh, the google website or not website is launched in a chrome bro in our chrome browser So now we can see 
the text which is nothing but selenium is entered into our chrome browser in the google page so now what we need to do is so we need to click on this selenium testing so here if you notice now the selenium testing is the fourth element whereas if you notice my previous website so here selenium testing is showing at one two three hope so eighth position so now if you want to try with the indexing also it's not possible for suppose if you are trying the expert for this if suppose here you can see there are list of items you can see the list of items here so li li all these are the selectors for the list of items okay so first what we will do is so we'll find out the text whatever it is showing from the selections list okay so for this first we need to identify the x path so just open your dom and let me change the settings okay so first we'll cut the suggestions whatever we are showing from the browser okay so for writing the xpath just hover over the elements so here we need to write the common xpath for suppose so i'll start with the, the ul tag slash slash ul and then so next the item is li so which is nothing but the list so if you notice so there are 10 elements available for this list okay so you can see this list right okay and i will just use this class for identifying my elements so at the rate class equals to so sbct okay so we have element with a value sbct so now we have the x path for identifying the all the suggestions okay so there are 10 suggestions in the browser so we got so 10 elements in our dom okay so here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so these are the top 10 suggestions when we are entering the google selenium keyboard in the google text field okay so first we'll collect the information about the text so for that i am going to use the list so list web element so here i will create a variable like element so here i need to collect the information from the list so here i need to use so driver dot find elements so why we need to use find elements is so it generates the list of items so if suppose if there is only one element means so like selenium means if it is directly showing as selenium means so we can directly use direct driver dot find element so whereas here we get list of uh, options so here we need to use driver dot find elements and how we need to identify so by dot xpath and here we need to mention the xpath for this suggestions okay so now let's check the size of uh, these elements once it identifies the suggestions from the browser okay for that i'll print the size with the help of a size method available in the list Now I'll place this inside uh, system dot out dot print ln. Okay. So now we should get the count as ten in our console. So Chrome driver started successfully. We can see the Google page launched in the Chrome browser with the text entered as Selenium in the text field 
and here we can see the options as well and let's move to the console and so here we got the size as 10 it means the suggestions are showing with 10 count so there are 10 elements present on the suggestions list which is nothing but the autocomplete list so now what we need to do is so we need to find out the selenium texting in the suggestions list so for that what we will do is first we will iterate this loop with the help of for loop so for that for off so i'll take one web element so for suppose b colon elements so this is enhanced version of uh, the for loop so let me change the okay so now what we'll do is first we'll get the text of each element for that so b dot get text so here you can see this get text method so for every iteration the text will be stored inside this variable for example i'll create one variable with name as element so every iteration will get the information so for printing this we use this system dot 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 print ln so i will print the element so now we should get all the information that are available in the suggestions okay so let's execute this now again our browser will be opened with the google page this time we can see the count as well as the suggestions list in our console okay so now we can see all the information that are showing on my browser selenium selenium interview question selenium tutorial selenium testing and everything so what we need to do now is so we need to click on the element that is available in this list so that is the thing but the selenium testing in this case so here we'll keep one condition with the help of if here if suppose if my element text dot equals so I'll just use equals ignore case if suppose if you are uh, selecting the data which is a multiple case or capital K capital case or I mean uppercase or lower case so anything will be fine so I will just use this selenium testing and inside the loop what I do is I will write like this so b dot click so you can get the suggestions so because of error it is not showing suggestions and suppose if you place this uh, b so you can get the suggestions uh, like b dot clear or b dot cl click like this you can get the information or the suggestions so here what happens is if suppose if my element text which is nothing but the text that is uh, generating with the help of b dot get text so contains this uh, equals to the option selenium testing so then this click will be performed if suppose if i have the text like selenium so it won't match with the selenium testing then it will get ignored and it will move to the next iteration if suppose if my element text contains selenium testing which equals to this selenium texting which is nothing but a satisfying condition so then b dot click will get executed once it is executed so we don't need to reiterate this for each loop so to avoid the reiteration we use this break option okay so whenever this if method is executed 
this click operation will be performed and then this break will be executed once this click is performed then it avoids the reiteration of this for each loop okay so let's run this now so our execution is started so you can see the chrome option was started successfully message on your console and here the page is launched with the text as selenium now we got the drop down suggestions and you can see this selenium testing is opened so we got the list as well so now it is changed why because uh, it don't have enough time to print all the values from the drop down okay so let me use some time uh, here i will keep the thread dot sleep so with the, some value like 2500 like that okay so just throw the declaration So the error is gone so let's run again google page is launched and air entered with selenium so this time you can see the selenium testing is showing above the initial page so here if you notice the initial page so selenium testing is showing somewhat at the eighth position or like that suppose if you notice the previous iteration uh, like suppose if I am giving the previous iteration input like this selenium so this time it is showing at the fourth place so now you can see this click action also happened on the entire text which is nothing but uh, the compared text which is selenium testing now the comparison happened between the input and the element from the list so once the execution is of this step is successful this click action is performed and our loop comes out of our execution without performing any additional steps in our required for each loop so here why it is not printing uh, all these means so here the iteration of uh, printing here we placed inside the fur so here after reaching the fourth position we got the comparison as true then this click action is performed and break the loop so that's why it is not printing the remaining elements so here you can see the last option printed was selenium testing which means it once the selenium testing is reached so here we have the comparison that satisfied and break the for each loop okay so like this uh, we can automate the autocomplete drop downs with uh, the help of uh, seleniums and that's all about this video i hope you like the video very much and please share with your friends about this automation of uh, autocomplete that's all thank you